We started off in Solon and Lake McBride. I love to ride my bike to the lake and paddleboard. You also have great breweries and restaurants in downtown Solon. As you leave Solon and head to Ely, the trail is extremely smooth. No hills and some beautiful bridges to cross. Super smooth, super quick, especially with a tailwind. I love that it's paved. I love that there's enough space that you can have, you know, have a little conversation next to each other when you bike. And when you get to Ely, you have a big decision to make. Ice cream at Dan and Debbie's or beer? Yeah, we like to call it bike and brew. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we do that all the time. Yeah. We go to Big Grow, we go to all so, the house divided, and then up to Clock House. So. Yeah, the problem is ice cream better because if I have to drive, beer's not always the best choice. So. <laughs> the trip from Ely to Cedar Rapids is a pretty one through the forest leaving Ely with a few rolling hills before you hit the railroad bridge, which has some spectacular views along the river. Once you get to CR, you have several choices to make if you want to stop again from Czech Village and Nubo or the sag wagon on the water, which is always rocky. That is why they call it Bike and Brew. And when you get to Robbins, more food and music. Dry Creek Brew is always hopping on the weekends. That's why it's become so wonderful about these trails in Cedar Rapids. We have nice places to stop, relax, eat, get some music. It's just wonderful, and they're, they're littering the trail all over, which is just fantastic. As you leave the party and hit the trail towards center point, it turns peaceful. From the cornfields to more forest, and you see plenty of wildlife. From cows to deer to wild turkeys, that's what makes this trail so unique. It has it all. Yeah, it is peaceful. Um, going south, which we do a lot, there seems to be more, more hectic chaos than that if you have to ride through town and that. But we got on at Boyson, and then we came up here, so it's, it is peaceful. The trail continues under the interstate to Urbana where they added more stops with a new coffee shop right on the trail called Jam's Coffee Bar. But shortly after Jam's, you run out of pavement, and it is gravel until you get to LaPorte City. But having such a long trail is a blessing. Mm -hmm. I personally am not very comfortable being on the road on a bike, so I really like mm -hmm. having the trails available. I definitely wouldn't get out and ride as much as I do if I had to be on the streets. I, you know, I have to go back to family when I'm done with this, and I want to make sure I'm safe, so I feel safe here on the trail. When I was riding back through Urbana, a family drinking beer in their driveway invited me to join them. Yes, that is Iowa nice. So let's end this thing, as always, with a selfie. Life is good on the Cedar Valley Nature Trail. I owe so much to this trail. It's how I get to work every uh -huh. day. It, I used to go see my mom in Cedar Falls. I want it every weekend. It's a blast. I wonder where that house is. I want to know where they can invite me.